Okay, welcome everybody. Grown Man Record Night, uh, 2014. 2014. Got stuff in my. I got pickles in my face. I got some pickles in my face. I'm gonna rap about it. Um, if everybody knows I'm a, I'm a real good rapper. And uh, this, all right, we're making it work. What do you think of the shot there? That's a good looking you're, shot. You're looking good there. You know why it's a good looking shot? Let me it's tell only you. you in the shot, right? First and foremost, numero uno, numero uno. That's why it's a good looking shot. It ain't no damn mystery. Um, you ain't gonna need to fill out no form to figure it out. Uh, it's a good looking shot because Mikey Bananas is in it. We appreciate you joining us for the 101st episode of Grown Man Record Night 101. So when somebody says, hey baby, that's Grown Man Record Night 101, that's, this is the episode they're talking about. Nobody will probably ever say that. Um, Sounds like class in college, actually. But you... Uh, 101. 101. It's first class, right? Number one class. Uh, you may recognize the voice joining us here. We got cameraman joining us live in the studio. Yay! Came back to pick up some shit that was in a room of a place that he stayed and going to pick some stuff up, load it up, take it on back. Uh, let's, let's, uh, before we get into it, before we get into it too strong, uh, I want to remind everybody, you know, we're live every Friday night for now. More about that tomorrow. Uh, but all these segments. about that lately. Oh, uh, yeah. The, all these segments going to end up on the YouTube channel. Everybody knows about that. We're up to 290 subscribers, getting close to 300. That's a big time business. We appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, keep up with us during the week on our Facebook page. And uh, I'll try to update some cool stuff throughout the week, including you know, not just shit about us, but just cool shit going on in the music world. And I'll find things from time to time, and I'll pass along to you because you're a friend of mine. Um, you can tell I'm a friend of yours because I'll stand on the table with a knife in my hand, roll late in the night after drinking party liquor, and, uh, you know... That's what I do. That's what I do. And I'm here for you to to do that. What did I just say? No, I, a lot okay. of stuff. All right. Said some yeah, I said some things. So tell me, uh, cameras moved down to the Wilson area. Uh, Wilson, North Carolina. Oh, wait, you not you never heard of it? Yeah, you've never heard of it. I, I've lived well, here. You never, you never heard of tobacco. you never heard of Wilson. Tobacco. Yeah. A tell of, me, a lot of tobacco. What, tell us, uh, tell us what what is Wilson like? Like you've been living around here and doing our thing. It's a lot like here, but it's flat. It's flat. real flat. Yeah, it's just real yeah. flat. There's no hills. You got thing. I mean, is there is there shit to do yeah, there? There's stuff. No, there's not really shit to do. You got to drive to Raleigh. It's like 30, 40 minutes. No big deal. 30, 40 minutes to Raleigh. Yeah, plenty of stuff to do in Raleigh. Sure. Okay. I can't say Wilson's not. It, but it's not bad. It seemed when I was down there, it at least had like all your, uh, you know. You need something? Yeah, you can go get it. All your Wilson. big, all your big chain restaurants, some low, cool local shit, of course. But yeah. you got all your big chain restaurants, your fast food, your Best Buys, your Targets, and then you got your local joints that you can, you know, prefer to shop at. But well, there's not neat. a lot of local joints there. No, there are, but they're real specialized, and mostly I'm, they're just some restaurants and some furniture businesses. Not much for arts going on, not much no, for I civic would, activities. Like eh, once a month, I think the city does something. I wouldn't think arts and uh, Wilson, North Carolina would probably be. Well, they have an arts center. Do they? It's not a bad town, though. Seriously, it's it's, it's pretty nifty, I guess. Uh, you know, that's cool. Wilson, though. Wilson, Wilson North Carolina. Wilson. 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 I tell you what, since you showed up, cameraman, uh, let, let's do us a damn shot of some old pop-off. Because uh, your expensive liquor, it don't taste no damn better. There we go. Mm. Oh, sweet baby Ray. Oh, it tastes so good. No, it doesn't. Tell you what. No, it uh, doesn't taste good at all. I love it. I want to remind everybody <laughs> that uh, the jams you're hearing underneath us here, and we, I don't know how exactly how well this is mixed, Tonight we're featuring some jams from freemusicarchive.org. Got some cool surf rock tunes going on. Yeah, I don't know how well it's mixed either. I'm, I'm wondering about that. Yeah, I don't know. Any feedback? Uh, Anybody say anything? I remember that? this particular mix will go from like uh, sort of low to sort of high when it switches bands. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. That's okay. But be sure to check out Free Music Archive. Tons of free shit from bands you probably never heard of. Lots of live shit. Yeah, uh, any, for that. 
any any genre there's one over there. that you could possibly there. imagine when you click on rock and it breaks it down into like lo-fi surf you know drone metal i mean it, it's it breaks it down everything you could think of it gets real nerdy and musical with it so that's it, it's a really cool place and so that's what we're playing here it's not it's not vinyl hold on a second yeah you already switched back to the camera yeah What's we're with that graphic line huh I want no. to see it with the new. I it's seen a logo. You, uh, you got a logo for the. Uh, it's just a logo. Was it good? Yeah. It's okay, all was right. it good? It's a logo. It's their logo. I didn't do nothing to it. It's just their logo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lots well, changed in a month. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to keep everybody happy. Uh, the 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 Bloods, the Crips, the yeah. Kurds, the Saints, the Saints, Palestinians. The Israelians, what are those, Jews? They call them Jews? I think, well, no, not Jews. necessarily. Not necessarily. No? Not specifically. That's pejorative? No. It's no, not it's, pejorative. It's, it's just not. not representative. Okay. I want to call them what they want to be called. Because you can call me anything but late for supper. Hello! <laughs> Internet, number one joke. Mark, write it down. I, I wrote a joke there. See that? Did you say Mark, write it down? Call, uh, call, call me anything but late for supper. Right? Yeah. Fat guys eat a lot. <clears throat> CBS. <laughs> uh, so I'll tell you what. Let's Is that get a, true? Uh, prob- CBS? Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, you know, NBC's got The More You Know. Uh, C- <laughs> the More You Know. Yeah. CBS has uh, <laughs> Fat Guys Eat a Lot. Um, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about what we played this evening. I, I feel like tonight, and we're, uh, if you noticed, oh, Steve Feeve is not with us this evening. It's because he's celebrating, I believe it's his damn uh, 17th wedding anniversary. So we want to give a big up to old Steve Feeve and, uh, and his wife Brooks for the, uh, the anniversary. That's big time business, man. Bon anniversary. Bon anniversary. That's, that's happy birthday. Bon anniversary. Yeah, no, it's got the anniversary in it. So. Yeah. It means good anniversary, which in French, anniversary kind of means what your birthday mm-hmm. is. I mean, I'm still going to dock his your pay date of birth for not, is, for not what being is, what here. What is your date of birth? They say something different. I'm going to dock him for not being here. But on here. your birthday, they sing, Happy Anniversary. Bon Anniversaire. Yeah. Bon Anniversaire. One year. That's uh, T.R. Henry when he shows up at your house, he knocks on your door. Who? And headbutts you. Bon Anniversaire. Is, is, is it exhibit that comes by and fixes your car for you? No. <laughs> Started out what we played tonight. Uh, I feel like I picked a really good mix to be. I was really here by myself you were, for you were good for a, for a long time, and I just kind of got in my own little thing, and I was like, I'm gonna play some music for some people on the internet, and I kind of got in the mode about a, a little Blondie Parallel Lines, a little VCLT um, on the Chrysalis Chrysalis label. Well, Blondie, that's good stuff, folks. Don't sleep on Blondie. I'm enjoying it. It's good stuff. I don't know. You tell me about it. Oh, we did that. Uh, we could have had a pickle with that shot. Ah, uh, no thanks. Not Next, uh, I pulled a J and Kai plus six. Now, Chris uh, from Dixieland Farm hit me into this when we were digging together, and he was like, you, you like trombones? And I'm like, sure, who doesn't like trombones? And he's like, well, here's some great trombone jazz. Um, and I was like, okay. And so I pulled it out. Expecting just some kind of kitschy, like, oh, yeah, that'd, that'd probably be funny. Oh, it was and it's real, real good jazz. It was like, real good. Real good jazz. So don't sleep on that. You see some Jay and Kai with some trombones on it? Actually, yeah. if you see anything with trombones. Jazz was. I think it's a good play. I like a good trombone. Uh, follow this up. Here, Here's a rarity in this sense. Uh, it's a it's a record from Pickwick called Jimmy. It's Jimi Hendrix. Now this is a it's a Pickwick reissue of a bunch of stuff. Is that what you played earlier tonight? Yeah. You know, I was driving up and I think the levels were a little low. Is, is it low? A low recording. Yeah, it was. She was showing where it was supposed to be. It's probably um, just the app. But you know, it Pickwick has a reputation. Maybe not the best stuff, but this one, it's just called Jimmy. J-I-M-I is the name of the record. And it's got a lot of instrumental, bluesier, soulier type jams on it. And I'm a big fan. I was, I was talking to uh, Zeke earlier. It's uh, I like the stuff that's um, 
a little, I mean, I mean, I love Purple Haze and Foxy Lady and all that shit too, but the stuff where Jimmy's playing that you've probably not heard as much, uh, especially, I guess, in the age that I am, that's always tends to wow me a bit more. And I'm like, you know, because I've heard Purple Haze a bazillion times. Oh, yeah. And it's I, a I don't great want to, song. I don't necessarily want to hear that. It's a great song. See how, see how I'm doing that? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Wide. L large port it's like it's like a great song what was in my ear it is a bug a bug could have died it, it don't smell again different same different same oh <laughs> it could be mayonnaise from lunch it could be a bug will you get him a napkin Finn? i will not i will not be part of get this. him a napkin a feminine not. napkin would be nice we got a little war why can't we be friends uh, and i played side two which has i did it Pacifically, even though it had a couple of slow jams on it, it's a rare grown man record night slow jam uh, alert where you wanted to kind of grab grab your lady or guy and uh, do your thing. But I played the side that had Low Rider and Why Can't We Be Friends on it. It's a great War record, man. I love I love most stuff that War does. I mean, for real. Um, and I'm this is one I hadn't played in a while, and I love Low Rider. Shit, I like that version. You know what? I like Corn's reissue really. Uh, it's good. Corn did a good job when they did uh, Low Rider the Reach. the big guitars? Yeah, the se seven strings. They play the seven strings. Yeah. They tuned down real far. I promised uh, old, uh, old Zach and Doc some Boss Town Psych. Broke out the Quill record that you gave me, cameraman. Um, a little Boss Town Psych that's uh, a little rarer to find. Uh, it's not in the best shape. Had a little incident that caused a little damage to this record. Uh, still plays okay. So the cat, the cat damaged this record. No, the old cat, the it, one that's dead now. No, he damaged some records now. No, it wasn't a cover Actually, issue. Technically, There's, he only damaged the covers. The records were fine. Yep, yeah, this one had something happen to the cover. I mean, the, the record. We won't get too much into it. Something spill on it? No, it got dropped or something. A little it chipped. A little crack. It plays through it. Les McCann, fish this week. Picked this up in Asheville, North Carolina, up in the mountains. Morse. It's on the old Blue Note label. Um, as Doc pointed out, played, uh, I think, side one. Just side one, track one. bought that record in 1958. Uh, fish this week. But great cover, great record, great artist. Great uh, all the way around. I mean, uh, Jeebus Hair. We're back. Again? I fucking hate the internet. No, don't hate the internet. I hate the provider. I really fucking hate the internet. Uh, Ustream has been being a just royal bitch tonight. I'll be honest with you. It's terrible. Everybody's got a black screen refresh refresher shit right now because I had to restart they, because they can't of hear you if they got a black screen. They can, a lot of people saying they got audio black screen. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fine. So, it's only the audio that counts on uh, Grown Man Record Nights. If you're talking, sounds. If you're talking Derek. Everybody, everybody, is everybody back with us? Clap your hands. Clap your, your hands are. if you're with us. Everybody. If I knew it was going to be this kind of party, I would have uh, shit out of my dick into the mashed potatoes. That's how it goes? I think so. Is that the way the uh, saying? Damn it. Anyhow, Les McCann fish this week. Blue notes like seventy something. Jesus, it doesn't mess me up. Present from the boss man last week. Jay Dilla donuts. Uh, very very proud to have this. I've wanted this for a long time. It's been on my watch list. Bossman picked it up for us here at, uh, to be able to play at Grown Man Record Night. Very cool of him, man. Along with some Gang Star and some Tribe Called Quest, of course. And we're gonna jam some of that later. But, uh, man, he's always coming through with some legit business. I, I just, he's a good boss man. Uh, played a little, it's a 45 maxi single, Kraftwerk the Telephone. And I played the remix side, uh, what do they call it? Yeah, the just remix. It's like an eight minute version. And it's uh, really good. Man. It's got a little sticker over the name. Yeah, they got a sticker over your name. Well, they tried, but I said, no, don't no. sticker on my name. Sticker on your name. 
man. Look, they got a mixing board here. Look here. Is that what that is? Look at that. Check your faders, bro. Check your faders. Well, that's really good. It's like what? HD, man. We're broadcasting in uh, HD for 84. You have a knife or a fork? A fork would be great. I'd like to have a pickle. Uh, lean over for it because I am not. Okay. A little pickle there, cameraman? No, thanks. Okay, what else is this? What do we got next? I don't know. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. They're like sharks. They're like shark turds. Oh, I had one. Yeah, I heard it. Look at here. Don't drip it on yourself. Drip it. Drip it Give me a napkin. You got a napkin handy? I won't drip. That's all right. I'll, I'll lay it across my right. shot glass. I'll drip. pour. Okay. It's all down. right. I wouldn't eat that. Everybody calm down. The table's real ashy. Next thing we played is a record that I opened last week. Kind of kinks. It's a 65 kinks record. It's a 68 repress. Canadian press on marble arch instead of the pie label. Not as desirable, but the mug was sealed. Popped it last week. Played side two this week because we played side one last week after the show. Man, what a great record. I love the effing kinks. I love the old kinks. I love the new kinks. Uh, Ray Davies. Hey. Big time business. Knows how to make some music records. That's all I'm saying about it. Mug knows how to make some music records. I can't disagree. When you want to make... Billy Cobham, Total Eclipse. I uh, love this record. Ro love anything Billy Cobham. This is 74 Atlantic. Is that 1974? Smoking. Is that 1974? Oh, Fusion, Up Your Buddy Hoyle. 1874? Uh, just, which 74 was it? 17. You know, 17. I was I was reviewing uh, uh, not too long ago the uh, DVD that old Scotty, Scott Strickland sent us. Um, Billy Cobham and George Duke band. Yeah, that was mantra. real good. It was real good. <laughs> it's so good. It's just uh, it's, it's all the music and stuff. It's, it's got a retardo designation. It's, it's all the music. I'll lay it down. Really good. And I played this uh, only because not only because I love only the baloney. Only the baloney. Uh, not because I love it as much as I do. Old well, Scotland had a vote yesterday, Those trying guys. trying to get a little inter interdependence. Uh, and it voted down, so they're still part of the United Kingdom. But I played some Boards of Canada anyhow, because uh, good S Scottish lads. Maybe they voted against it. You never know. You may see them in your local pub. That's the Tourism record. Um, tourism's good stuff, man. That's the first. You know, I remember for the first time in a record store down in Greensboro back in the 90s, I saw the uh, Boards of Canada Tourism, which would probably be the original deal. And oh, uh, yeah. I saw that and a Peanut Butter Wolf record. And I remember seeing both of those and being like, oh, both of these records are real interesting. And I was so cheap, I didn't buy either one of them. And now I'm you kicking myself in the uh, Yorba Meyer about it. Yeah, for real. Well, that was hell. That was, that was all the shit we played tonight. That was it? I thought you played a lot more. That's what we played so far. I mean, we're going to play a lot more we're coming play up. play at least two hours, three hours worth of records for the next two or three hours. Probably. Probably. But uh, it, it's a good time for us to go into Dig of the Week. Now, I got a lot of stuff to talk about Dig of the Week. No, not really. A lot of stuff to talk about. I don't have a lot of stuff to talk about. How many things do you have? It's a low number. A load number? It, <laughs> is, a, it is a load number. Uh, but I got some quality stuff, I think. Which, it's okay, it's not the uh, biggest number tonight, because uh, I I kind of have to use a restroom. Oh, I do too. I'm glad and you brought that up. Folks, we both have to use the restroom. It's going to come... We're kind gotta, of in a race. you got to pee every now and then. No. no I'm, not talking, I'm not talking oh, n numero uno okay, this well, evening. No. I, got, I got one just pending. No, I mean, numero uno would be okay. Again, folks. Well, I mean, for, they're both just as bad right now. Again, folks, thanks for joining us. We're uh, also sponsored by Mitchum, just to keep you in. in Which, in, in case you're having one or two, you may need a Mitchum. Uh, I need an extra Mitchum I because Mitchum. of the number two sweat coming right now. I need a Mitchum and Quitchum. Yeah. Um, but I tell you what, I was uh, today was the first day. No way. I listened to that. Nope. 
No to spoilers. The, no, I'm not going to tell them, but I listened to that vinyl you're about to show yeah. on CD today. Really? From a guy who lived through that. I mean, we were really? alive then, but we were four. But yeah, when that when that recording came yeah, out, I worked with a guy who's like, you know, enough older that Does he, he have in, a beard? No, but he was in middle school when that record came out. No. And I was, and I was in... No. I, I didn't go to preschool, but I would have been in preschool if I had You didn't go to preschool? preschool? You didn't? You I did. did. I didn't. No. I went straight to fourth grade. I got in trouble for touching a girl in preschool. Not fourth grade. Kindergarten. I was in preschool. <laughs> a girl in preschool That's said... 1980 or 81. Am I right? You're, you're ruining all of it. I'm not telling them what okay. it is. I picked up today. I've not dug records. I and that on CD. I thought I was oh my losing my job, folks. It. And so I didn't buy records for like almost two months. Today's the first day I bought it because I think I have a different role in a different capacity in the same place that be I've been so working. freaking cool. I don't want to get into it. I'll tell you a little bit more about it lately. Get into it. But uh, today's the first day I bought records in two months as a takeaway from that. ZZ Top El Loco. Now, this is... um. 1981, I believe. Yeah, 81 on Warner. Uh, the, the the great shit. Great. Engineered by Bob Ludwig. And it's got some of your uh, good time business like Pearl Necklace on it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is kind of completing, and it's not completing, but it's getting me closer to completing my good ZZ Top collection from the first album through maybe that one. Maybe the one after one. Yeah. But anything before Eliminator. And I love Eliminator too in its own poppy kind of uh, baloney kind of way. It's just not like the first ZZ Top where they're just like smoking blues all the way through. Pick this up. Uh, speaking of which, I went today for my dig. I went to uh, the, uh, my favorite store in uh, Winston. Let's do this shot here, Cameron. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't do the shot. I went to my favorite record store, who's moved locations. Underdog Records is now in downtown Winston-Salem. I'm going to do a pickle shot here. Woo! Woo! Oh! Oh! Here, so take... Yeah, no, I don't want... I don't want to so he's now in downtown Winston-Salem. Oh, he moved. It's a cool space, spot. Space. Steve and I went down there today... It's a cool space. And I was very stoked to get um, get in there. Mm. Let me show you some shit I scored down. Here's my receipt. Couple of new underdog stickers. His new logo, which I've not really pulled that, I've not pulled it apart. Here's a cool one. Jonathan that owns a joint is a big baseball fan. Here's another one. Check this out. A little baseball one. Big baseball fan, Jonathan. Show mom the camera. Nope. So that's really cool. And look what other sticker I scored. And I was like, oh, you got to pay for that. And he's like, no, 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 man, that's free. What? Well, that's got the Why whole you know thing. Apex Twins. Uh, then flip it over. Because the new album is coming out here in a couple weeks, Ciro. Uh, me and Jonathan talked. The um, the track that was leaked from that album could not have fulfilled any more of our Aphex Twin expectations and Fixations. desires. It had everything. Why are you me about that? It had everything you wanted out of a fucking Aphex Twin song. Everything you wanted. Yeah, me. And he was like, "Oh, I was the same way," and. Um, it's a triple LP, and it's coming out. You gonna buy it? I'm gonna buy it. We're gonna listen to it. Yeah. Uh, man, I love music. Pick this up, folks. Now, here's what we got here. This here is um, the uh, Miles Davis John Coltrane. It's part of the Columbia Jazz Masterpieces series, digitally remastered directly from the original analog tapes. The big deal, I faked you out. You did. The bit. big deal for me on this, it has straight No Chaser. And I'm pretty sure no this chase? is... No Chase? I love those No Chase Supremes. 
<laughs> this is the one I downloaded from Napster back in the day. You can hear ice in the glasses and hear them count it off with snapping their right fingers. Now. And they count it off and they start. And it's the most. When I heard that back in the 90s, it was one of the most yeah, incredible John things. And Bill Coltrane. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this list of players here Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Cannonball Adderley, Bill Evans, Paul Chambers. Just zipping through here. I mean, dude. Cat's playing with my mic cord here. That's, um, it's, uh, legendary. And, and so what this is, let's hold this up, cameraman. This is a reissue that came out in, like, 88 to this Columbia Jazz Masterpieces. Yes. And, um, <laughs> but it's from, a. Uh, 55 through 58. So it's some early shit, man. And it's supposed to sound pretty decent. I looked it up. said it was supposed to, it's supposed to sound pretty decent. Look, got, Kat's honestly carrying my cord away. You see that? Yeah. Just so nobody else thinks I'm Kitty. crazy. Kitty. Kat has got my cord in mouth. Yeah, that's bad business. And she's carrying it away. That's uh -huh. bad business. And sealed and brand new. I bought something since I hadn't bought records in a good while. I bought the latest offering from Earth, Primitive and Deadly. Uh, the seventh full-length studio album from Earth features vocal contributions by Mark Lanigan of Screaming Trees, also done some shit with uh, Mad Season. Um, and uh, Rabia Sheehan, Quasi, of Rose Windows, the second guitar. Blah, 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 ha, blah, blah, blah. This is a seventh Earth record. If you don't know Earth, Dylan Carlson... Uh, he was Kurt Cobain's best friend, and uh, he is actually the one that purchased the shotgun that Kurt killed himself with. Really? Yeah. And he, it was his best friend. And uh, they're known for starting the uh, drone metal thing that you may know from the Sun folks. Um, they, they started that in the 90s, and some of their later records have been kind of uh, post-rock. How later? You Telecaster, know? Reverb. Almost country sounding, but real kind of ambient feel. And uh, I think dude's got some shit to say with an instrument. He's one of those guys I got a feeling from. He's kind of got something to say. Pay some attention. You may, you may want to pay some attention to him. So when I, I saw this, brand new, uh, I actually kind of went in there with the intention. And he had three of them. The new Beatles mono reissues. He had them for 22 bucks. He had Sgt. Pepper, he had um, uh, Rubber Soul, and he had uh, the White Album, which is more because it's a double album. I was leaning that way when I saw the new Earth. I was like, I'm going to pick this up because I like Earth a whole lot. Bees Made Honey in the Lion Skull, one of my favorite records that I found recently. Um, and this is one we're going to play right after uh, we yeah, finish up. Yeah, can't wait to hear it. It's, it's, it's going to be, be cool, really folks. Good. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm glad to share it with you because you're my good internet buddies. I hadn't, and, heard, I hadn't man, heard that And you know what? All. I love sharing my shit with my good internet buddies. Everybody's so damn nice to me. I just don't know. It's like we could all be cousins. We could be cousins because I fuck a lot. Uh, Dig of, of the cousins? Week. Cousins? Called my cousins. I thought you said I fuck a lot. Yeah, now, yeah, now, uh, I tell no, you no, what. No, no, no. I got a couple of, I got a couple of cousins. No, 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 no. You don't want to. You don't want to talk about that. You don't want to that. say that on record. I've got a couple of cousins, baby. I'll tell you you've what. Got, okay, yeah, you got plenty of cousins. It's not a, it's... Is that where you... Murder is only murder if you get caught. No, Other, it is. Otherwise, also, otherwise, it's just killing somebody. Well, it's also... So, like, doing your cousin is thing. not illegal until you get caught. Otherwise, it's just screwing. Well, illegal and murder... It's just screwing. Stop murders legal. Murder the first you went to? Stab pickle. I'm trying to play sti pickle stab. Is it time to eat chip shit? I'm hungry. I'm trying. Oh, I had one. I tell you what. Actually, it's time for a so to speak. Well, hand me some soda so I can get my mouth wet for some chips. Yeah, we'll right. get all lubed up for some chips. Um, Which soda was speaking up this evening there? We got a, actually a couple of sodas, cameraman. We're going to talk about tonight. Um, hmm. We got one right here, and then we got that's another that's one. Like shrimp flavored or something, is it? Um, I don't want no shrimp flavored soda. 
What's that? that? I don't Hello. know. So, we're starting to speak tonight. Double up. First and fork most. Uh, I have a soda. Bossman picked up for us. Eating a pickle. Excuse me. Nah. Excuse me. Kitty? Cat made a noise, didn't she? I'm pretty sure we've done this. I know we've done this. Have we? Bubble up. It's a crisp and refreshing lemon lime soda. Think Sprite. Let's see what we got in terms of ingredients. Sugar, real sugar. So bubble up, they're out of, uh, oh, it's from the Dad's Root Beer Corporation. Okay. All right. You got a tool? Okay. What are you doing? Look at, here, here, I got a tool. Oh, my keychain. That'll work. Think so? Think so. Okay. All right. Everybody just. Yeah. See what happens? It works. Leatherman Micro. Fits uh -oh. on your keychain, opens up the scissors. Does the job. I keep it on there all the time. Leatherman Micro. That's I what carry a Leatherman Wave. That's what this... Uh, you and I will both speak for Leatherman. Yeah. They're good products. Bubble up. Here we go. Canteen swill. Up to Carl. No, that's not the same thing. Show, show the... That's good. It's a Sprite. It's a 7-Up. Reminds me more of 7-Up, but we're real <clears throat> GD sugar. That's got some real sugar attached to it. But it tastes like what you want a 7-Up or a Sprite to actually taste like. Much better than either one of those. Oh, that's... Take, take you a bigger pull. No, I did. That, that's real good. Yeah, that's real good. It's like candy. It but in a like clean... Yeah, it's a no, clean, it like crisp... Real good candy. Clean, crisp kind of way. Good we can mix candy. it with some vodka. Oh, yeah, no. Pour us a shot with that and some vodka. Or we could do this. No, that's shrimp flavored. No, it's not. Now really, here's what we, I really want a shot of the bubble up with the vodka. Okay, well first, w let's talk about we've done yeah, ramen. Let's talk about that. We've done ramen on here before. It's a Japanese soda that has a lot of um, kind of weird flavorings, and it's got a weird uh, opening mechanism. This is the uh, how do you pronounce that? Lychee. I don't know. It's a fruit, an Asian fruit. Sounds right. More. It's an Asian fruit. Um, so I remember you do, um, it tells you how to do this. Um, and I always forget to look at this before. Hit it with a hammer? No. You can. I can get it open with a hammer. I don't remember how to um, initiate this. This is all just a fail. Figure that out. You have to look at it. Cameron was going to figure it out. I remember, here's the deal. You pull that little thing off the top, you pop that off, and it's and you uh, use that to push something down. Or actually, let's do this. Let me see this. Hold on. It tells you? I'm looking. You're looking. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. It says warning, but. Yeah, let's do it. this. Let me see it. Uh, you're supposed to pull this warning, off. Warning, though. You got the warning, right? I'll push that down. There you go. I'll pop the little guy down in there. The ball stays in that. Ooh, Rock that back and that. forth. Yeah. So here's what... Yeah. This is kind of the... If you're not familiar with, like, the, um, the, uh, the Guinness... Um, Rock it back and forth, Cameron. A little action there. The Guinness widget, the little plastic thing in the uh, oh, wait, can. Hold the mic up, maybe they can hear it. Yeah. The, uh, the Guinness widget that helps it pour the right way, these Japanese sodas called Ramune, has this kind of mechanism uh, built into the apparatus. And uh, we've done these before, and it's taken me even longer than what it just took us to open this, if you believe it or not. 
But this is the, uh, you know how to pronounce that? Lychee? Licky? Some kind of Asian fruit? This is going to be good. I'm going to canteen swill this and pass it on. Very light. Very crisp. Very little flavor. I mean, compared to American sodas, very little taste at all, but in a good way. In a way that water is refreshing and crisp. This is like water with a little bit of carbonation and a little bit of like... It's actually a, really good. Yeah. I don't mind that at all. But it, it's kind of devoid of flavor. Well, no, it's got a little In flavor. a good way. A little flavor. It's got a little flavor. Like raspberry. Raspberry? Yeah. In a good way. In a good way. Good so to speak, man. Revisited some shit. Yeah, pour us a little shot of that. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that while we're getting ready for the so to speak. No, chip chat. Chip we, chat. We, we, said we're, 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 I said the wrong soda. thing because I've been drinking no, all no. owl over. I've been. So I got a whole stack of chips behind me. You're one of these, the. Uh, Chip of the night? No, no, no. I got them over There's here. There's a whole special chip over somewhere different? No, I got them different. I don't even know what they are, do I? This is like a big treat for a Friday night. A treat? Okay. What's floating in your shot? What's floating in your shot, asshole? Let's, um... All right. Let's take this shot. This has got a little bit of this uh, bubble up in it, and I don't know how that could be... No, there's not. Yes, it looks like it looks Cheers. Like they're ones that are Okay. Oh, no, really? It does. What is that? Ah. ah. Oh, it's my. Too, oh, my. It's too good. Oh, my. It's, it's too something. It's too good. No, it's too something. Yeah, too good could be. Okay, for this chip chat. Speaking of stuff from places where Redneck shop late at night, we have a special chip here. This comes from the Bossman. Walk March. A limon. A limon flavor. Great so value makes soap also. Great value is a uh, Walmart. We're talking Walmart, people. If you don't know what great value is, we're talking Walmart. So this is a limon flavored. Uh, potatoes, vegetable oil, maltodextrin, salt, citric acid, sugar, corn syrup. It doesn't necessarily have the right things in it, but it has... It's got the right amount of wrong things. It has a, a small amount of the wrong things. A lot of the wrong things. So it's, it's a wrong, nice... It's wrong. It looks like a standard Lay's size chip. Limon flavor. Hmm. It's a very salty, citric acid-based salt. So like a lime salt. My mom really likes lime salt. You used to be able to buy it, and uh, she picked it up in the dollar store. It was a little container of lime salt, so you take your tortilla chips and make them real like mm. salty and limey. Yeah. That's what this tastes like. Let's pull those up. So pretty much everybody out there in our Grown Man Record Night land can pick these up. Walmart, baby. These are really good. Not too bad. No, pretty, really good. I tell you what, uh, blend that with a little cheese dip. That's good stuff, man. That's a good chip. Walmart, that's all right. You know what, no, hold on. They're a little bit too salty. They are salty. They're citricky and salty and a little bit too much of both. They could have cut both flavors in half and I would have still been okay with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm not mad at it. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Okay. One more chip to try tonight. Would you believe of all the HERS chips we've done, um, according to the list, which Sweet tea keeps up with immaculately. Immaculately. Um, 
the Hearst baby back ribs. I think I've had these, but I don't think we've done these on the show. According to the list, we have not. I like the baby back rib chips. It's a good uh, alternative to a standard barbecue. I disagree. Um, this is a ripple chip. Here's what I taste. It's a good ripple chip. It's a barbecue flavor. I taste a lot of onion. I also taste liquid smoke. It's good, but that's what I taste. It tastes like a cookout. Yeah. Which means to me you added a bunch of spices. A bunch of it's not it's spices, fake. chemicals. Yeah. Chemicals. I think it tastes good. It mm. tastes good in a fake way. I want more of that. If that's an X factor for you for the fake tasting chip, uh. maybe not your chip. No, if it is an X factor and you love fake tasting chips, this is the chip. Or if you're a dude that really, really likes oh, I don't like the taste of ribs. I don't want to eat all that meat. If you really like seasoning, like chips that are just coated and shit, they don't look up. These are it. A lot of flavor going on. A very lot, good. Pretty much every bite. Great chip chat. That's crazy business. Okay. Oh, more. Give me another. Nope. Give me more chip. No. Nope. We're going to wrap up this edition of Chip Chat and actually wrap up this edition of uh, uh, Grown Man Record Night. But, nope. Aww. Right after this, I'm going to put that Earth record on. I'll tell you what, man. I'm really excited about uh, playing this damn Earth record. I've not heard it at all. Yeah. Okay. So we appreciate everybody for joining us, and uh, you know we wish Steve Fever a good uh, anniversary. I'm sure he's out doing big things, wooing his woman like a grown man should. Because one thing Steve knows how to do is be a damn grown man about that. On so a record night, he's doing the right thing. But uh, Steve will probably be back next week. He's one of the best men. Yeah, yeah, good guy, Steve Fever. Yeah. So, um, hey everybody, thanks for joining us. We're gonna come back with a 102 next week. Be sure to check us out on the YouTube channel. All those joints are gonna end up during the week. We're gonna drop our shit on the um, Facebook page where all the good folks uh, uh, that work the shit are hanging out. If you ain't got a, if you ain't got a Facebook, you know you gotta have a fa you, you gotta have Facebook. But always check us out here on Friday nights uh, uh, on the Ustream channel, at least for now. And, uh, oh, you know what I've forgotten, so to speak? And I'm going to bust it out right now. I forgot it. I forgot it. Surge. Who remembers Surge? You remember Surge Soda? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It was like liquid electric. What the lights? Yeah. Surge Soda came back. Wow. And uh, it was a knockoff that was discontinued by Coke 12 years ago. And it has reappeared in limited supply, but the mug sold out Monday. Mug? Mug. Dicky mug. Dicky mug. It had a fan site where people were like really, really uh, trying to get mugs to put it back out. But uh, there was a really got it put back out, and uh, but you could only buy it. It was like, real expensive, like fourteen bucks a twelve pack or something like that on Amazon, and then it sold out. But I wanted to mention that, so to speak, the old Surge Soda made a comeback, and it may be making a bigger comeback. So I don't know. I'll tell you what, let's take a quick commercial break before we uh, just close the whole damn thing out. So uh, we'll be right back here on Grown Man Record Night.
If you own ColecoVision, you already own a powerful state-of-the-art computer that gives you the arcade experience with the newest arcade games like Donkey Kong Jr., Looping, Pepper 2, Time Pilot, Mr. Do, Space Fury, Frontline, arcade controls like Turbo, the Roller Controller, and new Super Action Sports. And soon you'll plug in Atom, the revolutionary ColecoVision family computer module with new Super Games keyboard and printer. ColecoVision, the only system you'll ever need. If you... Suzanne Summers. Sure, I'm the sheriff. But sometimes my male deputies don't respect my authority. I don't lose my cool. I just walk softly and carry a big stick. She's the sheriff, and she's got the laughs locked up. Sunday at 6 on TV 68 WSYT. You know what happens when a house catches on fire? It fills with suffocating smoke. But luckily, every room in your house has a crawlway about knee-high where the air is good. So by crawling, not running, out of a smoke-filled room, you breathe the good air down here and not the bad smoke up there. So remember, if there's a fire, use that crawlway. It's the best way out of a hot situation. Okay, thank you everybody for joining us, and it's been a great time. Uh, we appreciate all our good sponsors. Hey, we want you to damn, uh, uh, use your damn Mitchum, you know what I'm saying? Use your damn Mitchum, drink your pop-off, say your prayers, eat your vitamins. We appreciate each and every one of you for joining us here on Grow Man Record Night. We'll see you next week for 102, and um, Steve Fever will probably be back, I don't know. Well, it's a crazy adventure, baby. So uh, we'll see each and every one of you back for Cameraman and the girlfriend, Elizabeth. I'm Mikey Bananas. We'll see you next time on Grown Man Record Night. <laughs>